not being motivated, apathy, sleeping too much, no energy. That may look like someone who is lazy, but those are in fact symptoms of depression. And very often, showing a patient or family members a brain scan of someone who's depressed and looking at how different that is in comparison to a brain scan when they're not depressed, I think helps put a little more medical punch to those symptoms so they understand that this is not a sense of being lazy, but in fact a mood disorder with symptoms that are very impairing. Many people, um, after discussions like that, will really start to recognize um, the impact of these symptoms, how disabling they can be, and how important it is to get patients to remission, to fully treat those symptoms. And when that laziness is gone, if you will, it really associates with the absence of depressed mood, um, the absence of low motivation, that the episode's been effectively treated. The reality is we have made enormous progress in better understanding the neuroscience or the neurobiology of serious mental illness and bipolar disorder is one of those. The progress made from the standpoint of understanding brain regions or networks of brain regions that are implicated in these disorders destigmatizes them at the very same time. Developing new compounds that are specific for bipolar disorder, seeing patients get better, uh, these processes destigmatize the illness, and this is where our efforts must continue to focus to completely eradicate that social stigma and get patients uh, uh, and get patients the right treatment that they need to get them moving forward and on with their lives.